what is going on guys nt fishing here with another video today what we are doing we are fishing this micro light uh shakespeare rod i picked it up from walmart it was a few dollars this thing is super 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 skinny super super thin but it's got a nice little setup to it throwing a mini chatterbait on there to start the day out so basically the challenge for today, we're gonna to be trying to catch a fish on this micro light. I've got a few different things that I wanna to try to run on it. I wanna run a uh, jig on it, a small, small jig on it. I wanna run a uh, uh, chatterbait and I wanna run, I'm gonna work the chatterbait like a jig. I might not even tie on a jig, but I wanna work the chatterbait like a jig. I might be fishing some spoons and some wax worms. I don't know exactly 100% of what's gonna to happen today. We're just hoping we can get into some fish cause it's been a little while and especially on this rod, it'll be super fun if we could get on to a fish two basic two basic main plans for today uh i'm going to be fishing this little cove right here because i'm not sure how deep it runs and i'm going to be going over to those rocks over there that's going to be the two main areas that i fished today uh this this area just because i've had a lot of luck here uh with largemouth bass uh and the rocks and stuff because it's deeper over there the bass should be hopefully over there So I just kind of want to explain real quickly why uh, I, I haven't had a lot of fishing videos coming out uh, now that it's winter. Basically, Virginia is just awful, man. Like it is like when it is. Uh, well, let me tighten this up real quick because I was about to fall off. Um, when it is when it hits winter, it doesn't get cold enough for the ice to freeze over the lakes and ponds but it doesn't stay warm enough for the fish to stay active. So I can't like go out into the middle of a lake where it's frozen, drill a hole, and then do actual ice fishing. Like I have to try to do something like this where the fish almost have like no chance of biting. But you know, I still go out here because I'm a dumbass. Uh, but yeah, it's just, the fishing is so hard right now in Virginia. It's not even funny. Um, so that's why it's been just like a lack of videos. I really do apologize, but it is, it, it is too hard right now, guys. I'm out here today and I'll probably upload, do like a, if I don't catch anything, I'll probably do like a two minute upload. Like, uh, just like coming out here, trying all these different spots and then saying I failed at the end. But you know, it's, it, it's still nice to be out here. I love fishing and I'm an avid fisher, fisherman. So, uh, I just want to, get out here and take the chance because you never know something something could hit i got a few other things in my thing i got i got like spoons and stuff but uh, it's it spoons are so much easier to use if you can go into the middle of a damn lake drill a hole and throw a wax worm on it now when you're trying to cast and retrieve them yeah it's not that it's not that easy to catch a bass on I'm trying to think uh, where else they could even be sitting. I'm just going to keep casting like super deep and then let the bait fall because uh, there's really nothing else to do at this point. Um, this is what I got to do. I got to go. Whoa. Is that a fish? I think it is a fish. Are you serious? Guys, guys, I got a fish on the ocean. It was a chunk. It was a chunk. It was a chunk. As it's on. I just had my first bite of the day. I wasn't expecting to even get a bite today. And it was a freaking, it was, oh my God, it was a chunky fish. So I'm gonna try to get back into position. I hope he bites again. Oh my God, dude, that was a big fish. That was, oh, nice I don't know how I'm that dumb. Oh, that could, that could, that has a chance at ruining my day today. Oh. So that is going to be what we're working with. We got a couple of wax worms on there. 
We're gonna see if that can uh, help our lock out a little bit, change up, uh, change up how we're going after these fish. Oh, we got one. Oh, no, we don't. <sighs> really? Oh, we had a fish. We have a, we have the opposite of a fish. We have a, uh, what they call a snag fish. It's just not the day, ladies and gentlemen. It's not the day that Noah's supposed to catch a bass. Oh, did it come off? Came off. We are grinding out here. All I want is one fish, and we had one. We had the one fish that I, we had one fish. That's all I wanted, and we had it. We got a fish, got a fish, got a fish, got a good fish, got a good fish. I don't know if it's a good one, he's probably little. He is little, but he's good. We got a fish, we got a fish on the spoon. Fish on the spoon. I'm gonna bow flip him on the six pound, six pound line, baby. Let's go. We caught a winter LMB, baby. Oh my God, you guys don't know how happy I am. This fish is not even close to the one that hit on the chatterbait, but you know what? Guess how much I care? Not at all, because you know what? We did it. We came out here, the odds were against us, and we took a spoon and we took some wax worms and we freaking caught a large mouth bass that is freezing cold. I'm gonna get him or her back in the water. Stat, it's always good. We're gonna swap sides here. I'm gonna jump over. <clears throat> Come around here. And then uh, cast this way. We can hook into something. I would love for that big girl to come back. But, I mean, I've caught big bass out of here before, so it's not like it's something new for me. It just would have been a <clears throat> really. Oh, there's another one. It would have been a really fun experience on the ultralight. That, that's not a bad one. Oh, that's not a bad one at all. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. That's a good. That's a good little pound. Just don't. Don't. Oh, careful, 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 careful. You're all good. You're fine. You're fine. I'm not gonna hurt you, I just wanna catch you. I'm all about the catch and release guy. There we go. That is a long fish. Let's go, that's about a two pounder. I wish I had my scale with me, I didn't bring it. Cause I wasn't even sure if I was gonna be catching anything today. Obviously I uh, kinda messed up myself there but that's about it's about a pound and a half two pound largemouth got about i would say probably maybe 15 inches 14 inches definitely a keeper in the tournament got a nice little mouth yeah i'm oh i'm <laughs> i'm happy all right guy we're gonna let you go and i just got freaking soaked oh my god that's so cold. Why did I do that? Uh, forget the epicness of the... <laughs> uh, God, that was awful. I'm going to do an outro right here. But, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys... Uh, you know, had a lot of fun watching me fail and then seeing me, you know, somewhat succeed. Caught a few bass, have a little bit of fun, and uh, yeah, hope you guys learned something that uh, throwing spoons and and uh, wax worms, you know, can lead to success in uh, ice bass fishing. Which, I mean, some people probably already knew that. I mean, I found out about it from YouTube videos. Some other people probably found out about it from YouTube videos. But yeah, I really had a lot of fun today, even though I'm freezing my buns off. Um, I'll definitely be back out once it's like around 40 degrees or something and I get a, a decent day. And yeah, thanks guys for checking out another video from NT Fishing. This is Noah and we are out.